These are the Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro, and this is this is Samsung's third attempt at wireless earbuds. Like they have really been struggling with these. Like they haven't found their identity. Like they've changed things up too much. Uh, you know, there was I really like the original Galaxy Buds. I still have my pair, and I still use them, and I really like them. You know, they have a fatal flaw with their microphone being really bad, but beyond that, for music and for comfort, I really love those. And honestly, none of the the live didn't live up to the hype. Uh, it was pretty terrible. And now with the Buds Pro, I am excited to try it out. I was going to mention the Buds Plus as well. The Buds Plus was more or less a minor upgrade to the bud so i didn't get them nor have i tried them uh but this is kind of it's it's the thing with samsung here is they just keep throwing things at the wall to see what sticks and kind of that's been their game with the wireless earphones as well but these have a couple of cool features so these have active noise cancellation they've got you know similar touch pads to what uh, uh every other samsung galaxy buds have had so far and they're also tuned by akg so the 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 thing here is they are supposed to be more comfortable just better all around so let's go ahead and see what it's like pull off the top of the box so okay these are really tiny so similar to uh what i saw with the galaxy buzz live the, the case is exceptionally small so let me just put this off to the side there is something else here i'm gonna guess a couple of buds oh wow they have a cable in here cool so there's a cable and in there, I think there's a couple of tips and other stuff. So I'm just gonna put this off to the side for a little bit. Oh, there's something at the top here too. Okay, this is just this paperwork. Okay, let me go ahead and look at the buds, which is the main attraction, what everybody wants to see. So uh, it's wrapped up in this blackish plastic cover, not really the tightest fit, just namesake. So let's go ahead and look at this Samsung. Uh, sound by AKG, very similar uh, case design to the Buds Live, the Jelly Beans. So this looks pretty good, very slick and black. Comes in a couple of colors. Um, I just ended up going with black because I felt this was the safest. I really like the violet, but just I, I felt like it would look kind of out of place in your ears when people saw you. So let's go ahead and let me grab my phone and keep it right to the side as well because um, these are supposed to have a really good and simple pairing process as well. So let's go ahead, open these up and see what it's like. Um, inside they look pretty good. So, all right, a new device has been detected. Let me go ahead and zoom in. A new device has been detected. This device's information will be synced with the SmartThing server so you can connect easily in the future. Okay, connect. So you guys can see there's a little green light in there. So Galaxy Buds Pro, charge 100% on the Buds, 56 in the case. That's more than acceptable. And that's it, connected. Let's go ahead and see the Bluetooth settings. And Galaxy Buds Pro connected, that's it. Didn't have to do much. And here's the settings page, cool. We can just see charge, auto switch between other devices. And there's the active noise cancellation and the ambient sound modes, block touches, I think, which is probably to uh, block the um, touch pads. And let's see, open wearable app. Let's go ahead and sync it up. It says you're all set. Great. Let's see what the app. So similar to that, just nicer UI than what we saw before. So active noise canceling. So you got to put the buds in. Voice detect. So cool. That's the feature. That was uh, that is a new feature here where it will detect if you're talking and uh, turn off noise cancellation and turn on ambient sound. Block touches. Equalizer. Cool. Read notifications allowed. Cool. Advanced Bixby voice wake up. Seamless earbud. 360 audio. Cool. Let me just turn that on. Labs, gaming mode, find my earbuds. That's cool. Um, general, cool. Okay, so what I'm going to do is let me actually pull it out and show you guys. Oh, by the way, this, uh, the case has a matte finish, which I really like. It feels really good. Um, the gloss finish is kind of bad and hard to keep clean. This is perfect. I think this looks really good. Let's pull the buds out and see what it's like. So the hinge on the top is not the most stable. It kind of falls through so here here's what the buds look like on their own so a big improvement over the um jelly beans but the one thing i'm noticing right off of the bat here is that um there's kind of no areas on the sides to grip you're going to end up touching this pad which is which was a big issue i had with the buds live as well where there was no area to um, touch them 
to adjust them when they're in your ear or to take them out or something without hitting that play pause button. So if you're taking it out and it pauses, not a big deal, but say you're just adjusting it a little bit in your ear and you tweak it and it pauses. It's, it's a very frustrating thing I noticed before. So just to give you guys a comparison point, here's the Galaxy Buds. Uh, let me just show you what they look like in comparison. The, these are much smaller, but I don't think being smaller really brings any to, anything to the table here. Um, it really just doesn't. If you look at it side by side, uh, I honestly do prefer the Galaxy Buds design here because what it has is these sides are very important to being able to adjust these, put them in, pull them out without enabling the touchpad, which is on the center here. And another good thing about this is that the uh, touchpad is a gloss finish and the rest is a matte finish. So you know exactly where to not kind of put your fingers unless you want the, uh, the buds to kind of go off. And I will say this, you know, the case design has definitely improved. The Buds Pro, you know, the Buds Plus, the, I'm sorry, these are just the buds. The blood, the buds and the buds plus just the case design was kind of clunky. We were never really that good. It was like a pill. Um, not the greatest. This case design is way more compact. It just looks nice and way more portable and easier to carry around. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead, try these out for a couple minutes, compare them to the uh, buds and the AirPods Max. Uh, I'm sorry, AirPods Pro, and then give you guys my thoughts and just comparisons to both of them. So a couple of minutes turned into a couple of days and now we're here a few days later with the Galaxy Buds Pro. The benefit of taking a couple of days is I've gotten a lot more time to spend with these. And I'll tell you this right off the bat, these are pretty decent. However, there are a few caveats. So let me get into it. Sound quality wise, it's pretty balanced. Nothing to complain about. Uh, it's not excessive in any way, but I do wish that the bass was a little bit higher. I do prefer my music to be a little bit more bass heavy. These unfortunately don't do that for me, but it is what it is at that point. They do sound very in line with what other Samsung wireless earphones sound like. Moving on, let's talk about microphone quality. And the best thing I can do is I will let you guys listen to a uh, microphone clip from these, the AirPods Pro and the original Galaxy Buds. So you guys can kind of listen and determine that for yourself. So go ahead and listen to these three clips and let me know what you think. This is the audio from the Galaxy Buds Pro. These are the newest ones and Again, I'm recording the audio clip from all of these headphones on the same exact phone in the same exact room, same exact position. So this is the sound you're going to get from them all the same. So this is a very equal competition. So let me know what you guys think. Again, this is audio directly from the Galaxy Buds Pro. This is a audio recording sample from the AirPods Pro. I am in a quiet room with not much going on. There is a little bit of a background noise with the HVAC system. But beyond that, this is a very common room, and I think this is the situation a lot of people will find themselves in when taking calls. Nothing too much going on in the background, so this is what it sounds like. Once again, these are the AirPods Pro. This is the audio from the Galaxy Buds. These are the original ones that came out with the Samsung Galaxy S10. And the audio, as I said, same room, same phone, audio recorder. So this is a pretty equal comparison, again, as I said quiet room, but there is a HVAC system running in the background, so there is a little bit of background noise, so this is what it would sound like for most people. Once again, I'm on the original Galaxy Buds. So now that you guys have had a chance to listen to all three, let me just give you my thoughts. I thought that the AirPods Pro sounded the best. Uh, the Buds Pro were kind of in the middle, and the Galaxy Buds were just the worst of the three. The reason I like the AirPods Pro over the Buds Pro were mainly because the AirPods Pro were louder and I felt they were just a little bit more clearer. Beyond that, I really couldn't find too many of a, uh, too many differences. All three of them did a pretty decent job, I think, with the background noise and everything else. Uh, of them all, I would definitely choose the AirPods Pro if I was solely using it for the microphone to take calls, uh, just so that the other end would be very clear. Moving on, let's talk about the features that this uh, these earphones provide. And the key new one, I think, is the um, the voice activated uh, noise cancellation mode. Like it turns off when you're speaking. It has that recognition. And I found that that is a cool feature, but not really because it doesn't do a good job of recognizing when you're actually wanting to talk and when you're maybe singing along to the music you're listening to or someone else besides you is talking. It just, you know, it's a kind of deficiency in the 
whole concept here. And it's not something that I'm blaming the product for. It's just that this feature that they were trying to market, it's not ready for um, full-time usage, I think. The, the biggest thing is, you know, a lot of people like to sing along to the music they're listening to, like I do. And the second you do that, it will just completely cut you out. Uh, it'll pause the music, it'll uh, turn off your active noise cancellation, and it's so frustrating. And then you've got to wait the 15 seconds for it to come back. Um, it's either off or on. You can't kind of like have it deactivated for a certain amount of time. Like it's just, you either have that feature on or off. And after the first couple of minutes, I just turned it off and forgot about it. Moving on, let's talk about the noise cancellation and the transparency mode this has. And both of them are an improvement from the last Buds Live, but I still think there's a little bit more to go with them. Uh, transparency mode especially, I just didn't, I don't know, it didn't feel right. It felt very artificial and tinny. The noise felt, it felt like you were listening through cheap speakers on a like very megaphonized, well like I can't explain it to you clearly enough, but it just doesn't sound right. Now, I mean, transparency mode isn't supposed to like sound 100% crystal clear, I know that, but still, I think that there's a long way to go with these. Moving on, let's talk about comfort, and comfort here was okay, but not as comfortable as the Galaxy Buds. Uh, those just felt way more comfortable. There's more, there's wing tips on those, and it just, overall, there's a lot more customizability to make those feel more comfortable. The shape of these are okay, but they definitely require a lot of minor adjustments constantly as you're using them. And using that as a segue, the big issue I have with these is, I mentioned this earlier in the video as well, the touch pads on this are constantly going off when you try to adjust them. There's no way that you can grip them or touch them without having the touchpad pause the music you're listening to. So um, whenever I go on a walk, I will put these in and I'll keep walking. And you know, after a couple of minutes, every earphone I wear, they kind of move around. It's just the way it is. You know, when you're walking around, um, it will move. So whenever I just try to do a minor adjustment to make sure it's uh, fit properly, the music pauses and I can't do anything about it. It is so beyond frustrating. And um, the only thing you can do is completely deactivate the touch pads, but that means you lose every control. You can't play pause, you can't uh, skip tracks, it, nothing. You're just completely left and that sucks. It just it does. Um, the, the touch pad does have the long hold feature to uh, activate or turn off the noise cancellation or transparency mode. You can switch between the two. You can switch between volume up or volume down. I wish there were a few more kind of options built in because it is a little bit frustrating, but again, just like, I really don't know what workaround would be to that either. So rounding things off, are these worth $200? And the answer is no. You can find AirPods Pro for $200 on sale very easily now. And those are definitely the better option, even if you're on Android. Uh, these just don't justify their price well enough. If you get these for 150, something lower than that, I think that's a whole different story. But for $200, uh, these are still, they just don't have that polish. They, they're really nice, but I got them for free with my Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. So I'm okay with it. If I would have paid $200 for this, I think I would be a lot more upset with the final end product that I got and just the small bugs and irritations it's giving me through the user process. So uh, that's it for this one, guys. Those were the Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro. Let me know what your thoughts were about the Buds Pro if you've had them uh, or if you've used any other Samsung earphones. Which one do you use? Which one do you like? As I said, I love the Buds and the Buds Plus are still being sold and they're being sold for just about $100 now. And I think that's honestly the move. Uh, if you're looking for them. And I'll have all of the Samsung wireless earphones linked in the description. Uh, if you want to go check those out on Amazon, uh, I'll have them linked there. So go, go ahead and look at them for yourselves and see what I'm talking about. And if you have any more questions, feel free to ask me on social media. All the handles are right here on the screen and of course down in the description as well. I post behind the scenes stuff of filming and other stuff. So go ahead, and check me out over there. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel for more Samsung content. Thank you so much for watching guys. I'll catch you in the next one.